That's basically what we did. We redesigned it to create the best efficiency that can, the highest efficiency that we can have with that intake track. Pump area and the pump box. Um, and that kind of that whole pump box and the intake track um, were something that we identified as an issue when we were going through the CNC process. So when we were looking at the, at the, at the intake track on the boat, we noticed that the, those same symmetry issues that we were having right to left on the old boat, where the, the old boat was not the same on, from right to left and the chines were not identical, the volume inside the chines were different. Um, those were all things that we were able to solve so we consulted with um, some hydrodynamic engineers to look and see of what the best shape and the, with what was the current shape that we had and how we could change that shape to create more efficiency in the pump. So we basically went through, redesigned that area. We redesigned the transition from the pump track into the pump shoe and the pump plate to just, just to get the most ideal efficient um, transitions that we had. The boat hooks up better, and is much more stable and it's just much more efficient situation. Again, through through the CNC design, we were able to identify areas where we were able to increase the pump box, which allows you to run a much bigger pump. Um, you know, that's something we're currently testing and playing with right now. Customers um, are, are wanting to have the ability to, to run larger than 148. The amount of water lines that we supply with this ski. So now we supply three half inch water lines, stainless steel water lines that run all the way forward. Another issue that we had in the past, water intrusion has always been an issue. So when we were when we were dealing with the back of this boat, that was always the thing we were keeping in mind is how to keep water out of the boat. Uh, the next thing we moved on from there was the ride plate. So the ride plates, um, we've always had a bit of a compromise in the ride plates. The ride plates didn't really match the bottom of the of the hull. They worked, um, but the transitions as it transitioned off the back of the hull onto the right plate have never really matched that well. So we took a lot of time redesigning the right plate to fit the hull perfectly. Um, and not only does it transition off of there perfectly, but the mating surfaces between the right plate and the hull are perfectly matched. Um, what that does is the hull, the, when, you, when you're able to hold it to the hull in that way, um, you have less ceiling issues with it. it, it's stronger, it has less chance to move or vibrate, and, you, and it's attached in a way that it doesn't want to tear it up.